Hey Fruit Bats, it's really the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today I want to talk about calories. First I want to just welcome you back from the weekend. Hope you had a good one. And today this is Motivate. Hopefully I'm going to be able to motivate you, help start you off on the right foot with Motivational Mondays. So today I want to talk about calories. Calories are very, very controversial, important subject. Everyone wants to restrict them. Everybody wants to talk about calories and calories in versus calories out, all that stuff. So I'm going to talk about it today because it's such, so close to my heart. You know, I've been restricting my calories for most of my life. And so for the last seven years, I gave that up. And you know what? I'm leaner, fitter, healthier than ever. So what does that say? That says something very interesting because I've been eating more calories than ever in my life and I'm slimmer, fitter and healthier than ever. How can that be? You know why? Because calories aren't created equally. All right, you've got fat, protein, carb calories for instance. I was eating a diet, you know, over 50 to 60% of calories from fat for years and I'm wondering, I mean, I was smashing in the calories and I'm wondering why I'm not getting leaner because I was eating the wrong calories. The ratios were all out. I wasn't eating below 10% of daily calories from protein and fat like I am now. A calorie is a calorie. Okay, a calorie is a measurement of heat energy. So that's like, yeah, calorie is calorie. But how does that calorie react in your body? How is it absorbed by your body? How is it processed by your body? It's going to be different depending on what calories you're ingesting. I mean, like you take two people. Okay, you take twins. You put one on 3,000 calorie McDonald's diet, animal protein, animal hormones, toxicity, saturated fat, heaps of salt, heaps of excitotoxins, all that crap. Then you put them on a high carb raw vegan, a high carb cooked vegan diet. Low fat diet, below 10% of daily calories from fat. This one over here, over 60% probably of calories from fat. So you've got these two. Are the two, are the twins gonna look the same? No, they're not. They're not gonna look the same. All we need to do is, you know, ask common sense on that one. They're not gonna look the same because when they're ingesting these calories, most of the calories are coming from fat for a start, from saturated animal fat. They're ingesting all these hormones. It, they're bringing in a lot of toxicity into their body as well. So something I want you to remember throughout this video is the body's answer to pollution is dilution. So what do I mean by that? I mean, the body will hold on to water weight. It will hold on to water in order to dilute that toxicity that's in the body from things like, you know, insulin growth factor one, which multiplies cancer cells rapidly, over 50 to 60 active naturally occurring hormones in dairy that are fine for a baby cow, but toxic to us. And that's before you get to the artificial things like tranquilizers and all that crap. So you're actually taking in so much toxicity, not only high fat calories, you're taking in toxicity as well. So the body has to hold all this extra water weight. So we get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's fat and salt and fluid and a whole lot of grossness that we don't need in our body. Okay, when you're bringing in these calories, I mean, if you're eating a diet over 50, 60% of calories from fat, then you're going to become insulin resistant. And insulin resistance equals weight gain every single time. If you're eating a high carb vegan, raw vegan diet, that's not going to be a problem because your fat and protein is super low. And you're not going to have fat impeding your bloodstream, you know, stopping sugar from getting through the blood. You're not going to have that problem. So as you can see, I'm really passionate about this one. How, how is it that I can stay super, super lean, smashing in the carbohydrate calories? I don't smash in the fat calories. I've been eating 5% of my calories from fat, 5% from protein for a long time. And that is why I'm lean. Is it because I restrict my calories? Heck no. Heck no, I don't restrict my calories. God, I've had years of that. I'm catching up. I'm catching up on those years of restricting my calories. I go all out now, but I eat the right calories. And I don't eat toxic calories that bring with it these animal hormones, these artificial, you know, tranquilizers and, you know, all the crap that comes with it and heaps of salt and all that. I don't do all that. It's a very plain but very satisfying diet. And the reason it's satisfying, it's never de deprivation, is because we're low fat creatures, we're high sugar creatures, and we love carbohydrates naturally. That's what we run on, and that's why when we stuff our faces with carbs, we actually feel satisfied. 
and we start to shrink. Smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> we shrink and we become, we transform into that person physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually that we want to be because we're living in line with nature's design as much as we can, as closely as we can. So I hope that makes sense. Let's not, you know, throw the calorie. Let's not restrict the calories. Let's not do that anymore. Agree with me. Come on. Let's not restrict the calories anymore. I guarantee once you recover from your metabolic damage or whatever's happened to your body in the past, you are going to transform into the leanest, fittest, most beautiful version of yourself possible. All right. So that's my message today. Hope it was motivating. Don't forget to go fruit. Borrow yourself and carve up this week. Banana girl.